Well, don't look now, but uh, I'm seeing some snowflakes. It's about 32 degrees. We got the boys here. They're hard at work playing, but uh, I'm thankful to be working in the shop today. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to do. Stick around to find out. All right, uh, we're just getting things sorted out on uh, the work we're gonna be doing on this Brinkley. Uh, kind of finishing up an install. So, uh, what do we got going on here? Well, so this, far? this is this is this cable is for the generator, <laughs> which I'm not going to use. We're going to use it to run the multi plus. So okay. this is one end here. Okay. The other end, and this is the way the Brinkley came. The other end's right here. Okay. So that's one side. Mm-hmm. Here's the other. Yeah. And uh, other people have run that underneath and brought it back up into that. Uh, okay. Area same, and, same area? Yeah. And hooked it into the shore power. Actually, yep. they, they, they recommend taking that to the shore power. And then running a new cable from Multi Plus to the uh, panel. Okay. Where's the shore power coming over here? Oh, right there. Okay. And there is a transfer switch in here somewhere? Uh, no. No, no transfer switch. They're on the road. Okay, so that's just a set of conductors that's, that's just ran for us. Pre wired. Yeah. Oh. If you want the transfer switch and the generator, that was all on the customer. <laughs> Okay, well, they just did a little bit of the job for us then. Just a little bit. They did half the wire. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's the multi plus side. So I'm, I'm leaning towards maybe you just. Yeah, like they're doing, just take this down and run another one right through along the same path. Yeah, they came up to a hole in, in the middle. Of, yeah, I see that uh, there. compartment there. All right, that, that makes sense. And then the other is to bring in the third solar panel. Okay. And if we, I don't mind replacing that multi, or the Furon 50 amp, Furion 50 amp. Yeah. To run all three. So what we're thinking about doing there, for those of you at home, is uh, think about adding more solar to this. This comes with 370 watts standard, but uh customer here has two other panels. So whatever 370 times three is, uh, that math works out to more than 50 amps into the battery, but probably a little less than 100. So we were going to maybe do a 100 watt or 100 amp uh, Victron controller to complement that. That's what we're thinking. Yep. And then uh, what else? What else do you have? Is this stuff you pulled out from the? No, we sold you this you new sold stuff. Sold me that. Yep. Okay, so you need all the other stuff to make this work then. Yeah, between what I have left over and. Uh... All right. And what you have, yep. Okay, so we actually, you may remember these batteries from a video a couple of years ago in May, I think is when we did it. These are, what are these, Life Blue batteries, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, 200 amp hour each Life yeah, Blue batteries. Yeah, it's a good deal. All right, well, we'll uh, see if we can hash out exactly everything we're going to put in here, and then uh, we're, we'll get at it. All right, everybody, we are... Okay, we're working on this Brinkley here. Uh, we're starting to put together a board. I'm letting the customer get after it on some of the wiring and we'll just kind of keep an eye on it. Uh, we've got a raceway in, took some measurements. It's kind of a interesting looking board. The MultiPlus is here. So we'll have to do that wiring in place, not a big deal. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna get to work on is running the extra wire down through here and then up into the other where it pops up in the bay and then we can get the multi plus wired up so i'm trying to i'm getting the uh underbelly pulled off here on the brinkley and got the this guy over here he keeps bugging me what do you need bear <laughs> i'll let you out in a little bit i gotta work a little bit first all right, we got uh, the new AC line ran with HDMI and USB for the Serbo. And we have explored a little bit on the display area there. We've got a couple of options, but we'll, we'll save that. And that came up here. 
And what was nice is there's a little access hatch here. I don't know if we can see it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, we only had to take down the screws in the front and was able to pass the wire right in between the water tanks up there and uh, right up through there. As far as other times we've had to do this, this was not too bad at all. So, and then uh, the plan is we'll take uh, the output, what, what currently goes into the panel back there and run it into one of these. And then the other one of these run it back into the panel and then the multiplus is in the middle. And uh, that's how it works. Let's see how things are going here. We've got uh, we connected this. Yeah. Okay, we can pull that up. Okay. Right. Yeah. Anyway, it's looking great. You want a job? <laughs> that poor <part> time <laughs> for a while. Sure. We got room out back. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so we're uh, putting this together and. Uh, all right, we're taking more stuff off the backboard here. Got the solar charger out, got the disconnect out, and I uh, even pulled out the positive wire for the, uh, that's that right there, for their inverter prep. I got some concerns that they were intending to run up to oh, like 300 amps through this charger or through this disconnect. I don't think that would work long term, but. Um, Wanted to make note of something I changed here. Uh, this used to be a uh, a two up Wago, and this was connected to the positive uh, here on the fuse holder. And this is for the trailer wire. If we go over here, or the trailer uh, um, tire monitor system. And so I just ran that to a three up Wago. It, oh, here it is. Used to be a two up, so we just changed that out. Because there's power there, so now it all works. And it's fused separately anyway, so no problem there. And uh, I think I'm going to start wiring up the AC lines here. All right, well, uh, my apprentice here has put this together. It's looking pretty good. Got uh, fuses on there. We're gonna have to land some of those once we get in there. We did leave a spot open here for the possible Orion uh, new XSs that are coming out, the 50 amp chargers, but I think we're gonna hold off on that for right now, but everything else is pretty much in place. So I think what we're gonna do is uh, bring it over and get it set up in there and then start hooking all that stuff up in there. All right, we'll meet you over there. Oh, what do we have here? Let's see what this is. Let's open this up. I'm seeing more of this branding from our favorite company, Victron. Look at this. All right, we gotta hold on here. We gotta we gotta make a quick comparison. All right, this is my live first look at this thing. It is way smaller. Let me see. So that was doing well. Normally, that's the same size as a. 30 amp, 12 to 12, but that's 12 to 14, so. But uh, that's the, the biggest issue is the thickness. Look at this. And, and this did 30 amps at most. This does 50, and it has Victron comms. It's got VE direct, so it'll show up in the uh, in the uh, Servo GX screen. It's got Bluetooth, all that stuff, so. Yep. I've got one spoken for. Do I have the second one spoken for? No. I don't know. I don't know yet. All right, look at us. We are coming along here. We've got uh, the inverter mostly wired up. Um, I just got it off right now, um, but it, all the main wires are connected to it. We've got uh, solar charger, solar disconnect, and this worked out really well. We didn't even have to splice or those wires or anything. We are going to leave uh, these breakers in place from the original system, just so there's some continuity there. And then uh, we ran the disconnect. Uh, so this is the house disconnect. Um, goes from here into the links output. We did, uh, hey, we even labeled them. So we got house output, solar output, truck, which is currently nothing, but that's just future expansion. And then, of course, uh, the inverter. 
And then, uh, oh, here's something a little different. So we'd been using these 400 amp die hool uh, breaker switches for a while, but uh, I found I could get single pole ones and they're a little cheaper. So we're doing that and that's working out really well. And then we don't have to uh, deal with the negative. Now on higher voltage systems, like a 24 or 48, I'd still probably go the double pole. But uh, in this case, uh, we're just gonna roll like that. So I got a couple more things to do. We've got plenty of work to do inside. Uh, We're not done yet, but I don't think this video or this project is going to wrap up in this video. All right, we are in the uh, inside the Brinkley here, I'm trying to figure out where to put the screen. There's a panel up here that I've kind of got pulled off here, and it's a little tricky. It's all uh, screwed from the sides. We'll show you that maybe a little bit later. I just got too excited and just jumped into it. Uh, the other option was down there, but that's not going to be any fun. So what we're thinking about doing is drilling into here like these other holes are, except we don't know exactly what's behind there. So my customer here, he has this newfangled uh, endoscope. Or what are, is that the right term? Endoscope, yeah. yeah. We're going to see what's in there. And my plan was to use... Uh, a bit like this so it doesn't go too far in there but as you can imagine we could still nick some of these wires and we don't want to do that that looks pretty clear i'm not seeing many wires up no, there. i don't see any wires all right how much was that thing We're like 30 40 bucks that's it yeah i spent way more than that on my FLIR camera yeah that looks great that looks clear yeah I'd say you're a go. Okay. All right, our hearts were going for a little bit, but uh, here we go. We're looking good. I think uh, we got a good hole there, so. And, uh, well, we're also thinking about switching the positions around, I think, a little bit. Oh, he's got the vacuum? Well, you finished. Um, okay. Um, so there's this, where do I have it here? Oh. There's this panel that normally sits right about here but we're thinking that would be a good position for the screen. So we're thinking maybe moving that up there. We got it in there. And look at that, we even got, that's working there, don't worry. We'll uh, sweep all that up, but uh, we kind of do this dance where we gotta be holding it. So we got the, uh, anyway, we got that through there and then we're, we'll mount it all up and it'll, it'll look good, but it was not always certain that that was gonna get done. All right, we got the door to put on, but uh, here's how we're gonna, end up doing this. Next time I can put this beauty cover back on here, live with you. It's not so bad. We just moved this up. Got that going right there. Yeah, touch works and all that stuff. We're in good shape. Um, yeah, smart shunt. And just the inverter's not on currently, so it's not gonna show up on there yet, but we're looking good. We just gotta put a couple more things back on here, like the door. All right, I'm in here uh, getting uh, the old shore power connected to the inverter in, or this this is what used to go to the panel. And uh, we're running this, and this is the cable that used to be the generator feed cable, uh, or the, yeah, generator pre-wire. And this is just how I'm hooking that together using these uh, splices, and then I wrap that in heat shrink. And uh, to get the connection real good, what I like to do is uh, use uh, an impact, whatever, straight bit. What do we call that? There's a name for it, I'm sure. Flathead. I feel like I can get that tighter than I can with a normal screwdriver. So I'm just going to do that to the rest of these and uh, heat shrink them up and then we're good to go. Okay, here's uh, all of them put together. These are not going anywhere. We'll uh, tuck that back in there. And then uh, we're gonna button a couple of things up, but I think we're gonna finish this all tomorrow. We got our uh, multi-plus programmed. Oh, I think I may pro program the uh, battery monitor still. We got a couple more things to do in here, but uh, we're definitely in the home stretch. Okay, well, I think that's it for uh, today's video uh, to watch the conclusion on this. Check in to tomorrow. That'll be Saturday, and that will probably be Saturday's usual video. Uh, I've done a lot of content this week, so I don't know that I have a lot to talk about. Uh, but uh, 
appreciate that you've been here this long. So we'll see you tomorrow.